What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video where I want to walk you through how to build an essential fall wardrobe. It's a conceptual approach so what I'd like to show you is how to think about putting a wardrobe together. I'm not saying all of these pieces belong in your wardrobe specifically or at all honestly but you'll see as we get started. Let's get started with this navy trench coat from H&M. Now I love trench coats. I think to me they're the perfect top layer when it comes to building an essential fall wardrobe. This doesn't have to be navy, it could be tan, it could be black, something that suits your style, suits your wardrobe. But overall, a trench coat, I think, is an absolute essential in a fall wardrobe. If you're looking to keep it a little bit lighter, this casual jacket from Zara is a great way to go. A casual jacket is just that. It's casual, but you have a little bit of room for flexibility. So you could wear this over an Oxford shirt and a pair of nice raw denim jeans, and you have a fairly put together look. But you can also wear this with a pair of ripped up jeans and a sweater, and then you have a little bit more of a laid back look. So I think this is a great option. If the trench coat's a little bit too much fabric or just it's not that cold, then this is a great way to go to switch things up a little bit. Now next up, I think fall is the ideal time to wear something like a black biker jacket like this one, but it might not necessarily be your style, it might be a little bit too bad boy or you just like to keep it a little bit more classy. So a suede jacket like this one from H&M would be the other alternative. Either way, I think either a leather or a suede jacket, whether it's a trucker or a biker jacket, are absolute fall essentials. They're just classic pieces that are guaranteed to make your fit look great if you get a nice piece that actually fits really well. And in a fun color like this one or the classic black, it's an easy, easy call adding these to your fall wardrobe. Now suiting is not nearly as widely spread as it once was, but I still think in an essential wardrobe, you should at least have one suit. So try and go with something that's versatile. This one is from Zara, which is not my prime destination for suiting, but I fell in love with this. It's a navy suit with a brown and a few light notes in the pattern. So it's easy to combine the suit with a bunch of different colors, especially in the fall where you're probably gonna be more on the earth tones of the color scheme. Quick note on suiting, in the fall especially, I tend to wear turtlenecks instead of dress shirts. Not only will they keep you warmer, I also just really like that aesthetic. And with a turtleneck, you could wear this suit with a pair of boots and then easily rock that throughout the fall. If you don't feel like a proper suit, you can also opt for a blazer. This one is from Zara as well. It's a lighter version of that suit while still playing with the same colors. So we got white, brown, and navy in here. Same point that I just made with the color combinations. They're literally endless. Wear this with a pair of raw denim jeans and you've got a nice clean look. Once again, the turtleneck is a great call here. Maybe a polo, maybe a sweater. There's a bunch of things that you can do just trying to dress up a blazer. It's gonna keep you looking elegant, but at the same time, it's not super fancy, so you can rock this casually on the weekend to brunch or wherever life takes you. The next part of an essential fall wardrobe is a trucker jacket. A trucker jacket by now has taken many, many different forms. Most classically, the raw denim jacket. If you want to, you can opt for a lighter color like this one from Levi's. This one is from Uniqlo. And lastly, because it is a trend, but also it's a fall classic, you can opt for a corduroy option like this one from H&M. I absolutely love this jacket, as do I trucker jackets in general. The beauty of them is you can use them as a top layer when it's not super cold, but you can also use them as a mid layer underneath the trench coat, for example, to create a look that's really dynamic and will actually keep you warm in a stylish way. It's really up to you how you wanna to choose to incorporate that into your fall wardrobe. That's why I wanna bring the note back to what I said in the beginning. It's a conceptual approach. If you take a trench coat, a casual jacket, a leather jacket, a suit, a blazer, I'm not saying you have to get these pieces exactly, but think about the things that I'm trying to point out same thing here with the trucker jackets. Whatever floats your boat, if you're more of a relaxed guy that wears more distressed stuff, then go for an even lighter denim jacket, maybe with a few rips in it, a couple of holes. That's where you just have a whole lot of flexibility to make this really feel like it's you. Also much needed, a hoodie. A hoodie, whether you keep it more casual or you dress it up, which now is very easily possible. You can even wear this underneath the blazer, for example. It's just an essential in a fall wardrobe, which thankfully, you know, that's the topic of today's video. I chose to show you guys this cream colored H&M hoodie. I like the fit, this is a size medium as you can see on the sticker on the front that I have yet to remove. But obviously that's also where colors are limitless. I prefer a proper hoodie, not a zip up hoodie. To me they seem a lot more casual and start breaking like the lines and outfits. So for me it's always a hoodie over a zip up, but it needs to be in your closet, not only to stay warm, but also to look stylish. Now as I just alluded to, for me I don't really go for dress shirts in the fall. Turtlenecks are what replace them. This one is a merino wool turtleneck from H&M, while I'm wearing a dark gray Alex Costa XBP turtleneck. Both great choices. There's a bunch of different stores that offer them. See what fits you well, see what you like, where you maybe shop already, see what's within your price point and make sure to try these types of turtlenecks on in a store because sometimes you order something and the fabric's just a little bit too itchy. It's just something that happens naturally with wool 
and you want to try and avoid having to return that so make sure that you shop for your turtlenecks in store like i said these are two options either hit up nordstrom for this one this one's from h&m even Uniqlo has fantastic turtlenecks, so there's plenty of places that you can go. If you don't love a turtleneck or you feel like you can't rock them, a sweater is just as easily a replacement for a dress shirt as a turtleneck is. It obviously is gonna not keep you as warm, but maybe that's what you want and need. Two options that we've got right here is this one, a lot more on the casual side from Urban Outfitters in a nice cream color. On my left, I have another piece from the Alex Costa XBP collection. It's a black sweater that's still available in stores. Two very solid choices, this a little bit more casual, this a little bit more dressed up, but like I said, all up to you. Wherever you feel like you can get the best sweater for you, that's what you should integrate into your wardrobe. Now I said I don't really do dress shirts, but casually, button-ups, still work for me. Whether that's a denim shirt like this one, which I think is an excellent choice to add to your fall wardrobe, just because denim is, while it's blue, it's a very neutral color blue because we just tend to see denim as, as is neutral. So this is a great addition because you can wear it and combine it very easily. Another option would be this flannel from Uniqlo. What I like about this is that we do have a lot of color going on. It's definitely very interesting, but at the same time, the colors are subdued. So you can, once again, combine it easily. And that's definitely something that's very important when building an essential wardrobe. Lastly, and the most easily I think mixed into the mix of all of these clothes is a simple Oxford shirt. This one is from Uniqlo in all black. I get a size medium. I'm 6'2", so that's just a point of reference for you guys. An Oxford shirt is a much more casual and a little bit of thicker fabric than a dress shirt, so it's more season appropriate in my opinion. Now we've made it all the way to the base layer, what's probably gonna rest on your skin directly, and that's where I opt for long sleeves. In this case, I have a black Essentials Henley. So this is a little bit more stylized because you have a few of the buttons just below the neck. But in general, you can also opt for a very simple long sleeve like this one. Basically, just a t-shirt, but with longer sleeves. Not only to keep you warmer, but also to use as a styling tool. If you choose to let it peek out, just past whatever you're wearing on top of it, you can kind of show that fabric again. So, very classic colors, of course. We got a gray one, a black one. Both of these are from Alex Costa's collection. And then we have the soft touch collection piece from Uniqlo. And in all white, it feels amazing. It's a really fair price point. So, once again, you have endless options trying to integrate that base layer into your wardrobe. Moving on to bottoms, we can't really talk about fall without mentioning a pair of nice denim. In this case, I'm holding a pair of raw denim jeans from H&M. I think they fit phenomenally and I really just like the design. A few things that I tend to watch out for with raw denim jeans is that the tobacco stitching, which is a classic design part of these jeans, is not too contrasting, not too saturated, not too bright. I like that it almost kind of blends in. And then you just need to find a fit, of course, that suits you and your body type. But that is the more dressed up version. If you try and keep it a little bit more casual, you can go for a lighter wash that's a little bit distressed, maybe even a really subtle acid wash type look. So that way you not only brighten up your wardrobe and your outfit with a pair of lighter jeans, but also you keep it just a little bit more casual just because the aesthetic of the jeans itself is not as clean and not as defined as the raw denim jeans that we just saw. Lastly, I think you should add a casual pant into the mix. So you've got a pair of denim, you've got your suit pants, if you wanna use them as dress pants, and then you have casual pants, like the three options that I'm holding right now. For one, you've got the chino. This is a docker khaki in Bordeaux, and chinos are just very easy to pull off. They can easily replace a pair of jeans and can be an easy way to have a little bit more fun with color in your outfit just by going for something a little bit bolder like this. Second up, going back to the trend of corduroy, you can opt for corduroy pants, which are more or less the same aesthetic as chinos, but they scream fall a little bit more. And like I said, they're not only trending, but add a little bit of spice to the outfit, if you will. These ones are from Uniqlo and one of my favorites. And last but not least, I wanna talk about the cargo pant, another way to variate the chino a little bit. So basically just a more casual chino to begin with and then you have a couple of pockets on each side of the leg, which I really like. Cargos overall, they're in a lot of stores right now. It's not officially a trend, but we see a little bit of a tendency towards workwear in everyday dressing. So this is the bottom half part of that movement. And they are definitely a lot less dressy than either one of these two casual pant options. But that's the thing again, casual pants, it depends on how you define casual and how casual you wanna go. So whether that's a little bit more dressed up casual with a Gino or all the way casual with a pair of cargos, that's really up to you. Let's talk about footwear and I wanna talk about the early fall first with a pair of white kicks. I think a sleek white pair of sneakers is an absolute essential by now, year round. It might not be the most practical once it gets rainy and muddy outside. I realize that they got dirty quickly. Trust me, I know, I have trouble keeping them white, but I think they're still an essential part. You can wear them with the suit, you can wear them with the trench coat, you can wear them with a lot of the fall pieces that are gonna make you look a lot more fall appropriate, but then you can opt for a lighter pop at the end of your outfit on the bottom 
just a white clean base to base the rest of the look off of. If that's not your vibe though, I still think you should have a dressy sneaker in your wardrobe somehow, so not necessarily an athletic sneaker, which I know we all have in our wardrobe anyway, but to work with a suit and some of the more dressed up options, you need something that's more versatile. So another option would be these dark steel sneakers are Sunday skater sneakers from my own brand, Ankari Flores. They're obviously a darker color, which is gonna make them a lot easier to wear once it gets a little bit crazy outside. Then of course, it is fall, so you're gonna need a pair of boots. I would recommend you get two. Number one, a pair of black Chelsea boots. They don't have to be black, it's your choice, what you think is gonna best fit with the rest of your clothes. But I think a black pair is a really solid choice. But you can also opt for a brown pair like this. I would usually keep it either brown or black when it comes to boots. Speaking of versatility, these are our newly launched Ankari Flores split toe boots and espresso suede. I absolutely love these. I cannot explain to you how long I waited for them to actually drop and be available. What I love about them particularly is that they walk the line between casual and dressy so easily. You can wear these with the suit that I showed you just before easily, but you can also wear these with the rugged light colored jeans easily. And the boots themselves have a really nice and slim silhouette, which is what makes these just absolutely amazing in my opinion. Last but not least, since I'm wearing them, let's talk about the black combat boots that I have on my feet right now, also from my own brand Ankari Flores. And just another option for a lace up, if these were just a little bit too dressy for you, these are definitely more on the casual side once again. Before we wrap up, let's talk about accessories. I've got three of them. Number one, just because it's the fall, the sun doesn't not shine. So you'll still need protection from the UV rays and from the light. So a pair of shades is still essential. A pair like this from Jade Black, which are my absolute favorites right now, that combine dark brown, olive, and some lighter tan tones is an excellent choice, going back to a few of the earth tones that I mentioned throughout the video. In terms of bags, I just wanna call out two general things. Number one, a backpack. It's not only for school. A classy backpack like this one from Zara, for example, easily allows itself to be worn paired with a suit so it's not just for students or college students. And then lastly, when I think of fall, I think of like a little getaway for the weekend, somewhere into the woods. So a duffel bag would be a great addition into your wardrobe. Just something that fits a lot, but still looks kind of stylish. In this case, I chose to go for a Herschel duffel bag in a subtle camo print that's gray, black, and dark gray. So while it's camo, and camo tends to be fairly loud, it's definitely subdued just because of the colors that Herschel chose to integrate in this backpack. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You may have seen my summer and winter versions of this video. I'll be doing an updated version of that coming fall if you guys like it. So please let me know down below in the comment section whether you'd love to see that. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.